as core, there are some essential shortcuts or hotkeys that we should definitely know in order to work faster. Some of them are actually very intuitive, like pressing the letter P on the keyboard to switch perspective on and off. Or uh, the letter F actually uh, arranges your model in the center of the frame. So if, if the model is outside of the canvas area and you can't see it, you can actually click F and it'll position it right in the middle of the frame for you, which is really nice to know. And clicking F will get you there quickly. However, there are some buttons that are, we use often and they, they don't have any assigned uh, hotkeys to them. So uh, in that same way we can arrange, in the same way that we arrange the user interface elements, we can also customize these hotkeys so we can just have quicker access to them. Um, for example, um, I use solo mode to sculpt all the time. So in my set of custom hotkeys, I have the, the letter, or, or excuse me, the number eight assigned to the solo switch. Now why do I have the number eight? Well, S is already taken by default and that's for the size of your brush if you click on that. So let's assign a hotkey here. The steps to assign a new hotkey are pretty simple. Um, but opposed to the process of moving things around in the, u in the user interface lesson, you now need to make sure that the enable custom UI switch is off. Not on, not bright orange, but make sure it's turned off. Um, so now to assign a new hotkey. Hold control and alt and click once on the button or switch um, you want to remap. Uh, so the key or combination of keys that you press immediately after will become the hotkey. Let's go ahead and assign a new hotkey so you see how, to, how easy it is. I'm going to hold control and alt and click the solo switch once and immediately after clicking it I'm going to click the number 8. So now you can see in the message above on the user interface it actually says it's been assigned. Very cool. So we assigned uh, the letter 8, excuse me, the number 8 to um, our solo mode. So now I can toggle that on and off. Um, so if you don't like that, if you made a mistake um, or simply want to change the hotkey for a particular button, you can override it with a new key. Or you can del delete it by holding Control alt click and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Now let's learn about another set of um, useful shortcuts that, that are good to know, especially with brushes. Although you have quick access to the main brushes at the bottom of the interface, you can also bring up the brush library with the letter B and then filter the selection with another letter assigned to the specific brush. Now for instance, let's go ahead and select the pinch brush. Let's go ahead and press the letter B on your keyboard and that will bring up the brush library. Then select P to filter the selection to only those brushes that start with the letter P. And now we can press the letter I to select the pinch brush. It's very handy to know these little shortcuts and that allows you to switch faster between brushes. So let's go back to the standard brush quickly by pressing the letters B, S, T. So select the move brush with B, M, V. And of course, you don't need to know these shortcuts straight away. But as you gain more experience, you'll see the value of knowing these shortcuts in ZBrush Core. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.